Welcome back to another video for Eve Echoes. I'm Big Skillet and thanks for joining me. And today I want to discuss some of the key updates based on player feedback that NetEase released the other day. And without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, everything highlighted in yellow you see here is based on player feedback and what NetEase has stated they're going to change it to. And then everything else is what they initially released to the community that they had planned on doing. So the first one was all regular ship command skills will now provide 20% speed instead of 45%. Based on player feedback, they're only reducing it by 5% down to 40. And to me, that's a, that's a problem because for the last year, it's been all about speed and drones and this balance patch was was hopefully to get us out of that meta and give us more options well speed was a big part of it and the reducing a lot less than what they initially told us i think that's a problem the second one is flight velocity of the shield fill module they're still lowering the damage resistance but now instead of reducing the speed by 50 percent on a small it's only going to be reduced by 25 percent i don't believe that's enough uh, as much as I don't like to see my nightmare go slower, it feels like that was one of the key reasons that we're going to get us out of the drone meta is it's all based on how fast the night, you know, the nightmare or the guardian can go with the bubble up. The faster it can go, the more likelihood we're going to see this drone meta continue on any echoes. And that's unfortunate because I think 50% was going to be a big deterrent and people were not going to use drones as much. 25%, I don't know. That's, that's a tough call. We'll see. I don't think it goes enough, but once again, we'll see. As far as interceptors, they've updated some of the changes and it really, there really is hardly any change to the TA interceptors outside the executioner was getting no damage bonus, but now it is going to get two and a half percent per level, just like the other TA counterparts. The bigger difference is with the T10 interceptors, instead of 12, you know, re being reduced from 15 to 12 and a half, it's actually going to be reduced from 15 to 10% per level uh, damage bonus really across the board. I don't know that that's enough. Maybe it is. We'll, we'll see. It's better than what they initially indicated and damage output of the interceptors has been a problem for a long, long time. But one of the big things also they were going to do is reduce the speed of the of the interceptors. Or initially, they told us 12.5% less speed. Now they're only reducing it down to 4.1%. And then you couple that with the lackluster overall speed reduction from the ship command skill, that's not very much. They're still going to be extraordinarily fast. And from what everybody was telling me on the test server, the speed reduction is fine. They still were very, very, very fast and could do and serve their main purpose. Once again, it seems like NetEase is caving to a certain player base as far as what they want versus what's good for the game. Now, the module section, as it pertains to extenders, plates, and, and batteries, they initially told us that there was going to be a reactivation delay of 180 seconds, three minutes. Seemed like a lot. It was definitely going to keep people from using that on most ships, but now they're backing off that and it's going to be between two and two and a half minute delay on the extenders and the plates. Still feels too too long. I don't think you're going to see people using those even at that, at those reactivation delays. I think it's just too long. Now, the cat batteries, which are really important to the carriers and the dreadnoughts, they're going to back off that. It's going to be a minute and a half. Probably still plausible, but there is a potential for E-War to, to come into play and actually sap some of those. So we'll see how that goes. I feel like that's a change in the middle. Not a bad change, potentially. I don't know, I haven't had a chance to test it, but it's a step in the right direction. 180 seconds was way, way, way too long. And then lastly, to me, out of what they've given us as far as updates, the only really good thing is instead of giving everybody 200 million a week for the bounty bonus, they're scaling that back to 50 million a week. I don't think they should be giving anybody free ISK at all for just playing the game, because that's what it feels like they're doing. But at least it's not 200 million, it's only 50 million. Hopefully it'll have less of an impact on the market and the economy. All right, I'm gonna keep that this video short and sweet. It feels like with these updates, we're getting much less of an overall update to the game, a balance update to the game. I don't feel 
as excited and warm and fuzzy as I did before. Post in the comments below, what are your thoughts and opinions with these uh, updates based on player feedback? Is it a good thing? Are they making the balance update have less of an impact? I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on that. But that's it. If you like videos like this, consider subscribing to the channel and ring that notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I release my next video. And if you like this video, smash on that like button. And until next time, have fun playing the game.